Hey there, fellow dog enthusiasts. Get ready for an exciting journey into the intriguing world of dog mating and breeding. We've got some fascinating questions to answer today. Ever wondered how many times dogs should mate during a heat cycle or what behaviors go on behind the scenes? Well, you're in for a treat. But that's not all, we've got more juicy insights coming your way. Before we dig into these canine mysteries, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button below. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming next. By subscribing, you'll stay connected with all things dog-related and be part of our awesome community. So, grab your pup, get comfy, and let's uncover the captivating facts about dog mating. Point 1. The Estrus Cycle Our first stop on this educational journey is understanding the estrus cycle in female dogs. This cycle consists of several distinct stages, including proestrus, estrus, diestrus, and anestrus. Each stage involves unique hormonal changes and behavioral shifts, all of which play a critical role in the mating process. In proestrus, which typically lasts about nine days, a female dog's body prepares for mating. Hormonal changes lead to the release of pheromones that signal her availability to male dogs. During this stage, you might notice a bloody discharge. Estrus, the second stage, lasts about a week and marks the peak of fertility. The female is receptive to mating and her behavior may become more flirtatious. Male dogs will be highly interested and may come from far and wide if they detect her scent. Diestrus is a period of sexual inactivity that follows, lasting around two months. If mating hasn't occurred, the female's body returns to a non-receptive state. Finally, anestrus is a resting phase that completes the cycle, lasting several months. No mating behavior occurs during this time. Point 2. Frequency of mating All right, folks, let's get into the nitty-gritty of how often dogs should mate during a single heat cycle. This is a question that piques the curiosity of breeders and dog owners alike because it directly affects the health and happiness of our furry friends. The magic number for how many times dogs should mate during one heat cycle isn't set in stone, it's influenced by various factors. So, let's break it down. The key to successful mating is timing. It's all about understanding the female dog's fertile window, which typically happens during the estrus stage of her heat cycle, spanning about a week. Mating during this period enhances the chances of a successful pregnancy. Before even considering mating, the health of both the female and male dogs should be tip-top. That means they should be up-to-date on vaccinations, free from infections or diseases, and in excellent physical shape. Your goals as a breeder matter. Some may opt for a single mating during the fertile period, while others might go for multiple attempts to increase the odds of pregnancy. Keep a close watch, it's always wise to work alongside a veterinarian or an experienced breeder who can monitor the female's condition and track the progress of her heat cycle. This guidance is crucial for pinpointing the perfect time for mating. Male matters, don't forget about the male's fertility. A healthy and fertile male can achieve successful matings with fewer attempts. There's no universal answer to how many times dogs should mate during a heat cycle. It's a decision that should be tailored to the unique circumstances of the dogs involved, their health, and the breeder's objectives. Above all, the well-being of your precious pets should guide your choices. Point 3. Mating Behavior All right, let's dive into the fascinating world of dog mating behavior. Just like humans have their unique dating rituals, dogs have their courtship customs, and they're intriguing to say the least. Understanding these behaviors not only strengthens the bond between you and your furry friend, but also sheds light on their natural instincts when it comes to reproduction. First up, we have scent marking, a particularly intriguing aspect of dog mating behavior. When a female dog is in heat, she releases pheromones that announce her fertility. In response, male dogs might become quite interested in scent marking, essentially leaving their calling card to communicate their presence and intentions. It's like their way of saying, hey there, I'm here and ready. Mounting, ah yes, mounting. This behavior is often associated with mating and it's not exclusive to males. Both males and females might engage in mounting during the heat cycle. It's a part of their natural courtship, although it doesn't always lead to a successful mating. Think of it as their way of expressing interest. Dogs can be quite vocal during mating. The sounds they make can vary from one individual to another. You might hear whining, barking, or even howling. These vocalizations serve as a form of communication between the potential mates, kind of like a canine conversation about the weather, well, sort of. Now, here's where things get interesting. Pay close attention to their body language. 
Submissive postures, tail wagging, and relaxed body language can indicate a positive interaction. On the flip side, any signs of aggression or discomfort should be closely monitored. It's their way of talking without words. Keep in mind that mating behavior can differ from one breed to another and even from one dog to another. Some dogs may be more assertive and persistent in their courtship, while others might be a tad more reserved. It's all part of what makes each dog unique. Point four, health considerations. Maintaining the health of your dogs is of paramount importance when it comes to breeding. Let's explore the crucial health considerations for both male and female dogs involved in the mating process, ensuring the well-being of your beloved pets throughout this important phase of their lives. Before any breeding takes place, comprehensive health checks on both the male and female dogs are essential. This involves evaluating their overall health, checking for genetic issues, and ensuring they are free from diseases that could be transmitted during mating. If successful mating occurs, pregnancy management becomes a key aspect of responsible breeding. This includes understanding the various stages of pregnancy in dogs and providing insights into proper nutrition, exercise, and veterinary care to ensure a healthy pregnancy and delivery. After mating, specific care is required for both the female and male dogs. This includes monitoring for any signs of complications, addressing potential health issues, and ensuring a safe and comfortable environment for the pregnant female. By prioritizing your dog's health throughout the breeding process, you not only contribute to the well-being of your pets, but also increase the chances of a successful and healthy litter. Point 5. Responsible Breeding Practices Responsible breeding practices are at the core of ensuring the health and well-being of dogs. When discussing responsible pet ownership, it's vital to extend our focus to the breeding process itself, considering not just the welfare of the parent dogs, but also that of their offspring. Let's delve into the ethical considerations surrounding responsible breeding and explore the fundamental principles that guide responsible breeders. One of the cornerstones of responsible breeding is the role of professional breeders. These individuals play a pivotal role in maintaining breed standards and ensuring the health of purebred dogs. Reputable breeders are known for their commitment to thorough health testing, the responsible selection of breeding pairs, and an unwavering dedication to the overall well-being of their dogs. A significant aspect of responsible breeding is prioritizing the welfare of the offspring. It's not just about producing puppies, it's about bringing healthy, well-socialized, and happy puppies into the world. Responsible breeders go to great lengths to ensure that the puppies they produce receive the best possible start in life. This includes providing them with proper nutrition, early socialization to various environments and people, and access to top-notch veterinary care. Informed decision-making is a key consideration for those contemplating dog breeding. Making responsible choices involves understanding breed-specific considerations, knowing when it might be inappropriate to breed, and fully comprehending the significant responsibilities that come with the breeding process. While responsible breeding is essential for preserving breed integrity, it's equally important to emphasize the value of adoption. Shelters and rescue organizations provide loving homes for countless dogs in need. Point 6. Breeding and Genetics in this segment, we're delving into the intricate world of dog breeding, shining a spotlight on the pivotal role of genetics. Genetics underpin every aspect of a dog's existence, from their appearance and personality to their overall health. Our exploration will dissect the complexities of genetics in breeding and how responsible breeders utilize this knowledge to produce healthy litters while mitigating the risk of genetic disorders. Responsible breeders understand the significance of genetic diversity. Maintaining a diverse gene pool is crucial for the overall health and vitality of a breed. Limited genetic diversity can lead to the prevalence of inherited health issues. Selective breeding involves choosing mating pairs based on desirable traits and genetic compatibility. Breeders evaluate the genetic profiles of potential parents to produce puppies that meet breed standards and possess good health. Genetic testing plays a vital role in reducing the risk of hereditary diseases. It helps breeders make informed decisions about which dogs to pair, focusing on specific health conditions. Responsible breeders actively work to reduce the risk of genetic disorders within their breed. Strategies like outcrossing, breeding unrelated dogs, genetic screening, and health certifications contribute to healthier puppies. Responsible breeders consider the long-term health of their puppies. 
They aim to produce dogs that not only meet breed standards but also live long, healthy lives free from the burden of genetic diseases. Understanding the intricacies of genetics in dog breeding empowers breeders to make informed decisions that positively impact the future of their breed. Point 7. Pregnancy and Whelping In this segment, we'll dive into the intricate stages of pregnancy in dogs and explore the fascinating process of whelping, which is the birthing process. Understanding these essential aspects is crucial for ensuring the health and safety of the mother and her puppies. The pregnancy timeline in dogs typically spans around 63 days. This journey begins with the fertilized egg's journey to the uterus and progresses through the development of the puppy's organs inside the mother's womb. Just as with human pregnancies, prenatal care is of utmost importance for dogs. This includes providing proper nutrition, ensuring regular exercise, and scheduling routine veterinary checkups throughout the pregnancy. These measures are vital for ensuring healthy puppies and a smooth birthing process. Recognizing the signs that indicate a dog is about to give birth is vital. These signs include changes in body temperature, restlessness, and nesting behavior. This knowledge helps dog owners and breeders prepare for the upcoming whelping process, ensuring that everything is in place to provide a safe and comfortable environment for the mother. Post-birth care, caring for the mother and puppies doesn't end with the birth of the puppies. We stress the significance of post-birth care, which involves monitoring the mother's health, ensuring the puppies are nursing and maintaining warmth, and being prepared to intervene in case of any complications. Raising healthy puppies. Raising healthy puppies requires meticulous attention to detail. There are essential aspects such as providing proper nutrition for both the mother and puppies, facilitating early socialization, and scheduling early health checkups. This holistic approach ensures not only the survival but the thriving of the puppies. Point 8. Caring for puppies. In this section, our focus shifts to the delicate newborn puppies that have recently entered the world. Providing for these vulnerable beings demands meticulous attention and a wealth of knowledge to ensure they receive the best possible start in life. Nutritional needs. Let's start by underlining the critical role that nutrition plays in a puppy's early development. You need to note the significance of colostrum, the mother's initial milk rich in essential antibodies, and guarantee that each puppy receives the nourishment they require. Whether you're looking after puppies born at home or those from a breeder, comprehending their nutritional needs is of utmost importance. Establishing a well-structured feeding schedule is crucial for good growth and health. Please pay attention to how often to feed puppies, transitioning to solid foods, and the importance of maintaining proper hydration. Ensuring correct feeding practices sets the stage for each puppy to thrive. Early socialization forms the bedrock of a puppy's upbringing. Explore the critical window for socialization and emphasize the significance of exposing puppies to a wide array of people, environments, and experiences. This process aids in their development into well-adjusted adults. Healthcare, puppies require regular health exams, vaccinations, and preventative care. It is necessary to consult the essential vaccinations and health monitoring procedures of the puppy, guaranteeing its protection against common diseases. Responsible ownership. Responsibilities include providing a safe and stimulating environment, puppy-proofing your home, and addressing common behavioral challenges. For breeders, finding loving and responsible homes is paramount. See ethical practices for placing puppies in suitable homes, conducting interviews with potential owners, and ensuring the puppy's well-being after adoption. As we conclude our exploration of dog mating, we hope you've gained valuable insights into this fascinating aspect of canine behavior. Remember, a deeper understanding of your dog's natural instincts can lead to better care and responsible ownership. If you found this video informative and engaging, we invite you to become a part of our community by hitting that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all things related to our canine companions and gain access to more in-depth content. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey. Until next time, take care of your beloved dogs and cherish the remarkable bond you share.